examples on numerical differentiation and integration example number first find dy by dx at x is equal to 0.5 for using following table so the values of x and y are given there is the x y x is equal to 0 1 2 3 and 4 y is equal to what y is equal to 1 1 15 40 85 now the x is we want to determine derivative at x is equal to 0 0.5 which is very close to initial value that is it is very close to uh, 0 so we are going to use the numerical differentiation formula for using forward difference table so the step first we want to determine forward difference table x y uh, x y x is uh, four values two three and four zero one two three one one uh, zero one two three four there is one more Zero one two three four, and it is equal to one one fifteen forty eighty five. So the first uh, forward difference delta y is equal to one minus one zero, then fifteen minus one it is equal to fourteen, forty minus fifteen it is equal to. Uh, it is equal to uh, 25 okay then 85 minus 40 is equal to 45 the second forward difference delta square y is equal to uh, 14 minus 0 is 14 25 minus 14 is equal to 11 uh, then 45 minus 25 is equal to 20 the third forward difference is 11 minus 14 is equal to minus 3 20 minus 11 is 9 and the last forward difference fourth order forward difference delta 4y 9 minus minus 3 so it is equal to 12 N next next step step number 2 we want to determine the value of u here so u is equal to x minus x0 divided by h here x is 0 0.5 that is we want to determine derivative at x is equal to 0 0.5 x0 is the initial value which is 0 and h is the, the difference between the uh, successive values of x you can see here the what is that 1 minus 0 is 1 2 minus 1 is 1 3 minus 2 is 1 4 minus they are equally spaced with their difference is what 1 so h is equal to 1 and therefore u is equal to x minus 0 0.5 minus 0 divided by 1 so this implies u is equal to 0 0.5 this is the value of u now next next dy by dx the formula of dy by dx is equal to 1 by h delta y 0 plus twice u minus 1 divided by 2 factorial delta square y 0 since uh, we are using here the we want to determine derivative at the point where it is not given value of x so u minus 1 divided by 2 factorial thrice u square square minus 6u 
plus 2 divided by 3 factorial delta q y q y 0 plus next 4 u q minus 18 u square plus 22 u minus 6 divided by 4 factorial into delta 4 y 0 bracket completed now if you substitute all this value here then dy by dx is equal to 1 by h is 1 divided by 0 0.5 inside the bracket delta y 0 so what is delta y 0 here we are going to use this row this is what this is y0 delta y0 delta square y0 and so on so the delta y0 is equal to what 0 so delta y0 is 0 plus 2 times 0 0.5 minus 1 divided by 2 factorial is 2 into delta square y0 which is what 14 delta square y0 is what 14 14 next uh, plus 3 times 0 0.5 bracket square minus 6 into 0 0.5 plus 2 divided by 3 factorial is 6 into delta q y 0 delta q y 0 is what minus 3 minus 3 plus 4 u cube so it is equal to 4 times 0 0.5 cube minus 18 0 0.5 bracket square plus 22 into 0 0.5 minus 6 divided by 4 factorial which is equal to 24 into del delta 4 raised to 0 so what is delta 4 raised to y 0 is 12 is 12 so now if you simplify this we get 1 divided by 0 0.5 1 divided by 0 0.5 is equal to is equal to into 0 now here uh, 2 into 0.5 is 1 1 minus 1 0 so here the second term is also 0 the next term is minus 0 0.25 to 5 divided by 6 and next term if you simplify this you will get into here minus 3 next term is 1 by 24 into 12 so, you, so to simplify this we get 0 0.625 answer is what dy by dx at x is equal to 0 0.5 is equal to 0 0.625 the next example, example number two, number two, calculate up to three decimal places, evaluate an integration 2 to 10, 1 divided by 1 plus x, x dx by dividing, dividing uh, the range range into eight equal parts using first trapezoidal rule trapezoidal rule trapezoidal rule and next number two using Simpson's Simpson's one third rule so now the first by using trapezoidal rule first using trapezoidal rule trapezoidal rule now the limit of integration so the lower limit is 2 upper limit is 8 upper limit is 10 sorry 10 and n is 8 and therefore h is equal to b minus a divided by n is equal to 10 minus 2 divided by 8 is equal to 8 divided by 8 equal to 1.
so we want to divide this 2 to 10 into 8 equal parts having length of each part is equal to what 1 each interval is 1 so now so we are going to start from what is here f of x f of x is given is 1 divided by 1 plus x f of x is what 1 divided by 1 plus x now the value of x and y y is what 1 divided by 1 plus x so we, we are going to start from the lower limit of the uh, lower limit of the integration so the lower limit of integration is equal to 2 so it is 2 then 3 uh, want to add 1 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 there are total if n is a uh, if n is 8 then there are total uh, 9 ordinates and n equal to 10 so now if you substitute here first what is y here y is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus x so 1 plus x so y of 2 is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus 2 so it is 1 divided by 3 so it is 0 0.333 3 3 3 when we take 3 it is equal to 1 divided by 4 so it is 0 0.25 then 4 for it is 0 0.2 for 5 it is 0 0.1667 for 6 it is 1 by 7 so 1 by 7 is uh, 0 0.14 1429 for 1 by 8 it is 0 0.125 for 8 it is equal to 0 0.1111 for 9 it is 0 0.1 and for 10 it is 0 0.90 0 0.90909 okay so now so this is the x0 this is x0 y x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 x6 x7 and so on so similarly this is y0, y1, y2, y3, y4, y5, y6, y7 and last it is what y8. Now the trapezoidal rule is the value of the integration i is equal to i is equal to h by 2 inside the bracket y0 plus yn so y0 plus yn yn is what 8 plus 2 times y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus y4 plus y5 plus y6 plus y7 now if you substitute all these value here i is equal to h is what h is 1 so it is 1 by 2 inside the bracket y0 is 0 0.3333 this is the you can see here this is the y0 plus y8 is y8 is equal to 0 0.909 0 0.909 plus 2 times y1 y1 is 0 0.25 y2 is 0 0.2 y3 is 0 0.1667 plus 0 0.1429 1429 then 0 0.125 plus 0 0.125 125 plus 125 0 0.1111 it is 0 0.1111 plus 0 0.1 last is 0 0.1 so now if we simplify this then i is equal to 1 by 2 this is equal to 0 0.3333 plus 0 0.909 plus 2 times the value inside the bracket is 1.0956 bracket completed so i is equal to 1 by 2 if we simplify this or uh, this bracket then we get the value 
i is equal to 1.3078 so this is the value of the integration using simpson uh, trapezoidal rule same we are going to apply the simpson one third rule next number 2 simpson's simpson's one third rule one third rule again the values and the value of h and the value of y are remain same but just we, want, we are going to change the formula here for simpson one third rule the value of the integration i is equal to h by 3 inside the bracket y 0 plus y n y n that is 8 y 0 plus y 8 plus 4 times odd value that is y 1 plus y 3 plus y 5 Plus y seven plus two times even values, even ordinary is y two plus y four plus y six bracket completed. So now here, if we substitute all these value here, we get i is equal to h is one by three inside the bracket y zero is zero point three 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 plus y eight is equal to zero point nine zero nine zero nine plus four times Y one Y one is zero point two five. Y three is equal to zero point one six six seven. Point one zero point one zero point one six six seven. Plus zero point one two five. Or zero point one two five. Plus zero point one. Bracket completed. Plus two times Y two, zero point two. Plus zero point one four two nine two nine plus zero point one 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 bracket completed. Now if we evaluate this, we get the value of i is equal to one by three inside the bracket zero point three 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 plus zero point nine zero nine plus four times it is zero point six four one seven. Plus two times zero point four five four bracket completed and therefore i is equal to one point two nine nine six. So this is the value of the integration using Simpson one third rule and one point three zero seven eight. This is the value using um, uh, Stapleton rule. You can also evaluate an exact value. So what is the exact value here? The given integration is i is equal to two to ten, uh, one divided by one plus x uh, dx. So this is equal to the integration is ln one plus x, and the limit is from two to ten. So if you substitute this, this is nothing but the ln eleven minus ln uh, two. That is, this is nothing but the ln ln eleven by two. This is nothing but the ln Five point five. So the ln five point five is ln five point five is equal to one point seven zero four seven. So this is what an exact value. This is what an exact value. One point seven zero four seven and one point two nine nine six is calculated value. One point three zero seven it is also a calculated value. Sorry, sorry. There, ln two. There is one mistake here. It is not ln one plus x. So it is eleven ln eleven minus ln three. So this is ln three. So eleven by three is eleven by three is equal to three point six six seven. This is three point six 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 seven, and this is nothing but the exact value is what ln uh, ln of One point two nine nine three. One point two nine nine three. Answer is what? Exact answer is one point two nine nine three. This is what an exact answer. Exact answer by using uh, by direct. If we evaluate a direct direct integration. Now the last example. Example number four. Example number four. Um, calculate or find dy by dx. 
find dy by dx at x is equal to 0 0.6 and d square y by dx square at x is equal to at x is equal to 0 0.4 0 0.4 for the following data the given data is the given data is x y so x is 0 0.4 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.7 and 0 0.8 and y is 1.5836 0 0.5 is 1 1.7974 2.04 2.32 So now here we want to determine the forward difference table first the step first now you can see what is the difference between this example and example number one you can see in example number one we want to evaluate a derivative at x is equal to 0 0.5 which is not given values of x now here we are going to determine a derivative at x is equal to 0 0.6 it is a given values uh, in the table that is x is equal to at x is equal to 0 0.6 f of x is equal to 2.0442 and again there are different formulae to evaluate derivative when the x is given or x if x is not given so first say this is x y how many values 1 2 3 4 5 values are there 1 2 3 4 and then 5 so x is equal to 0 0.4 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.7 0 0.8 then 1.5836 36 1.7974 2.0442 and 2.3275 and 2.6511 so the first forward difference is equal to first forward difference is to 1.79 minus 1.8 uh, 1.5836 is equal to 0 0.2138 2138 then next 0. this 2.0442 minus 1.7974 is 0 0.2468 Next, it is 0 0.2833, 2833, and next it is 0 0.3236. First forward difference, the second forward, second order forward difference is 0 0.033, 0 0.0033, 0 0.0033. Zero point zero four zero three. The third order difference delta q y is zero point zero zero three five. Zero zero three five. Then zero point zero zero three eight. And the fourth order difference is equal to difference is equal to zero point zero 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 three. Now we want to evaluate derivative at x is equal to 0 0.6 so we are going to use this value here so we, we want a formula up to what uh, delta uh, square y so since it is a given value uh, of given value of x so dy by dx is equal to 1 by h 1 by h delta y 0 minus 1 by 2 delta square y 0 we want value up to what delta 
जीरो पॉइंट फाइव और जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स डेल्टा स्क्वायर वाई जीरो सो वी वॉन्ट अप टू दिस वैल्यू ओनली डेल्टा स्क्वायर वाई जीरो एंड एच इज इक्वल टू हियर एच इज इक्वल टू नाउ हियर एक्स वन वॉन्ट रिटर माइंड हियर एच इज इक्वल टू दॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन सक्सेसिव वैल्यूज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव एंड जीरो पॉइंट फोर हियर सो एच इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट वन want to make correction in the first example also here we take the so h is what 1 no u is what u is uh, 0.5 h is 1 sorry what is h h is nothing but h is 1 here h is 1 so make your correction also h is what 1 h is 1 here also h is 1 h is 1 Okay, so in the here in this example, h is zero point one. So dy by dx at x is equal to zero point six is zero point one. Delta y zero is equal to zero point. What is delta y zero? Zero point two eight three three two eight three three minus delta square y zero is zero point zero four zero three. Divided by two, so it is equal to. If we solve this, we get two point six three one five. Six three one five. Now the next, we want to determine delta square y zero at x is equal to zero point four. So for zero point four, zero point four, we are going to use these values. Okay. These are the values. Ju at zero point four, so. And we want to write formula up to delta four y zero. So again, h remains same. H is zero point one. So the next delta square y zero is equal to the formula for d square y by d x square is equal to one by h square delta square y zero minus delta cube y zero. Plus eleven by twelve, delta four y zero. So the d square y by d x square is equal to one by h square. Is nothing but the one divided by zero point one bracket square, delta square y zero. So what is delta square y zero? Zero point three three three. You can see here zero point three three three. This is the delta square y zero. Zero point three three three. So it is equal to. Zero point three 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 minus delta q by zero zero point zero zero three five plus eleven by twelve delta four y zero zero point zero 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 three is equal to so d square y by d x square is equal to two point nine seven seven five. So this is what the derivative at point x is equal to x is equal to zero point four. Derivative at x is equal to zero point four. Double derivative at x is equal to zero point four. 